Alright, um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of talking. Um, now, um, I'll show you some proof here. This proves I did work at Shot Co. at one time. I had worked at the Arcadia one. That's what that says on the back there. I was a supervisor at, at that store. Um, I was over the sales floor. They had me at Shaco Hometown, stocking, cashiering, pushing carts, everything. I even had associates under me. So, um, like I said, I also had worked at Sears, and this is the proof. This is my old discount card. Now, um, I kept all these because he's got my name on them. And I'm not going to give them to anyone because of that, but, um, now, um, like with, um, I think, um, with Instagram, I am, uh, I know no one no realizes this, I'm a part of three different communities. I'm part of the Antiquers community, and... The artist community, where I, I don't like being known for that, but known as a snowman artist. So, because I can make snowmen really good, you know. And I'm also part of the retail community, which all three communities fall into the YouTube uh, that I do for YouTube channel. You know, I do play video games. I... I have almost all the councils, obviously. Um, um, the the thing is, I do like watching um, professional wrestling. It ain't real, obviously, you know, but it's more like storylines. But it's very entertaining. Um, with me, I like Jane Bond movies, and, and um, I'm not too much into romantic stuff, <laughs> just to say the least. Um, I do like family shows and that. I do not like horror, <laughs> but my husband likes horror. Um, I'm 31 years old, and my husband is going to be 40 years old. Now, I got friends online that I've met that I that I've never met that I talk to online and you know it it's just good friends that you made through the internet um just like I became friends on um Instagram a couple years ago with someone that's actually in a TV show that I really like watching <laughs> you know I really like American Pickers I really like um Pawn Stars and Antique Road Show. I, I really like that too. Um, so, the person I made friends with is on American Pickers, and I really like that show. So, when I became, how I started with that, when I became friends with Daniel Colby over at Instagram, was we were, I was just, I would comment on her timeline, talking to her, and talk about antiques. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I I was following her first. I still follow her on um, Twitter, too. She doesn't follow me on Twitter, but, you know, I like her, like, page on Facebook. So, <laughs> um, the thing is, um... She started. She sent me a request to f allow me to allow her to follow me. So she follows me on Instagram, and then um, I became friends with someone that's part of the artist community. She's in Georgia. She's married. I think she's right around my age. Um, also oh, plushy. She makes amazing things, though. I mean. She does soaps, she does clay, polymer clay art, basically, and all sorts of different arts, you know. Um, so, she follows me on Instagram, too, and I follow her on Instagram as well. And, oh, 
oh, she really was like at all seeing snow here in Wisconsin, pictures anyway. And she lives all in Georgia. So, um, and then I got to be friends through um, YouTube, I should say, a Raymond Doolin and a David Buys and a Justin Vickers. All different ages, like I said, um, Justin Vickers and David Baez are like in high school. Um, like I said, I always love my husband so much. <laughs> so I always like talking to people and that. Um, so like on, on YouTube, I try watching like... Wally B twenty six channel and that neat guy on YouTube besides um Grimm's Toy Show. He got three channels and he got over a million subscribers. He's usually a good watch, you know. Grimm's Toy Show. Um that's how I started my channel is when he was talking about YouTube, huh? Um so uh, fun fact there. And I also try watching some reselling and stuff about antiques on YouTube. So, um, I am always, well, what I like doing is I, I am a nunsmanic, which means I collect currency, um, coins and paper money. I'm always big into that, um. But I've been also following what Daniel Colby says, which I've learned a lot. Yeah. You'd be amazed what antique and vintage clothing is actually worth and what people are willing to pay for that. Until she shows you the proof and it's like, wow. I never thought of a flapper dress from the 1920s being worth hundreds of dollars. <laughs> and it is. You know... Um, so, the thing I try to do, too, is, um, I also watch, like, some resellers' channels, and I try talking a little bit uh, with them, because it's like, it, it ain't gonna hurt. Let some other YouTubers get to know you a little, you know. If they also unsubscribe to you, they, they do, you know. I mean, uh, no competition with anyone. Um, that's the best thing. I'll always just let people get to know you, you know, of what you are. The resellers, they usually, from what I've viewed, they'll usually say whose channel they're real good friends with. And if they ain't really that good friends, they'll still recommend people to that other resellers channel which is pretty good it's like yeah you know there, there's a lot of things you know, it's like yeah I'd be down with recommending other channels and saying that you know <laughs> so um with um Daniel Colby though I think she's trying to on her Patreon. I also have a Patreon myself. I have no Patreons. Um, that would only have helped towards gas money, really. But um, she's trying to preserve um, the history of Blur Skew and showing historical Blur Skew costumes. She has like a, a museum in her home for these Blur Skew things. And... Yeah, she's in support of my channel and stuff, but, um, so I kind of done that a little bit with some of the retail stuff that I've acquired. <laughs> and it, it's like a little historical thing, you know? Um, I think also, um, You know, that that's a thing, too, you know. Um, 
You, you know, I've learned, like, so much with her. But, yeah, Daniel, Colby, and I still talk on Instagram once in a while, you know. Um, lately, I've been talking to David Byes and Justin Vickers, you know. So, um, and too, like, with my husband, I, like I said, I, I kind of always want to try to keep him happy, you know. Um, so, um, I, like I said, he doesn't want to be seen in the video so much. <laughs> so, um, the big thing I kind of want to try to do with my channel right now is trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We are a very long sway. Um, I did have 55, 56 subscribers and then it went down to like 52, 53. <laughs> and it's like, um, so... If I can get a lot of sharing, a lot of ways where I can get the channel, my channel pushed, it would help. Because once I can get the channel monetized, I could probably finally get paid for for filming. Because like with um next week, guys, um my hours are cut. I do work in retail, so. In the month of January, we face, unfortunately, is our hours get cut. Because they ain't that busy. So, I'm only scheduled to work three days next week. So, um, I can't really drive a lot. So, um, well, once I'm able to get a thousand subscribers, I already have enough views from what I've seen. I have the views. Um, I just need the subscriber count to go up quite a bit. <laughs> um, then once I get start getting paid, I'm I'm not trying to get famous on YouTube. I mean, if I get famous, I'll figure out a way. But I, I mean, if it starts uh, affecting my marriage, I'll just take a long enough break from YouTube just to make sure that I don't, you know. So, um. Now, um, Arnie and I, how we met and got married, we, we first met on OKCupid and then, um, we met in October. Uh, 2014 and we started dating in October 2014 then we um I believe in February 14th on Valentine's Day 2015 that was when Arnie proposed to me and he proposed at Irvine Park and in the pavilion, and um, the best thing that that I know is he did in in the month of February tried to take me to the old Clark Kmart when they were having their store closing. We went there real early in the morning, and they already sold everything and were already completely closed and telling everybody to go away basically. So. And we got married in June of 2016. So, well, there was a lot of things. Even like right now, I'm trying to get a different job, but it's, you know, real hard. Because, like I said, I need to be full-time. I don't want to push carts anymore, and I don't want to cash here anymore either. But, um, I'll say this, um... When I worked at Sears, and this is where I'm going to say I know some will disagree. When the Sears I worked at, Dole Claire, when they never had any red security vests, they didn't even have security. I worked there on Black Friday, even in 2017, 16, I should say. Um, but they had the phone number to Mall Security, to Oakwood Mall Security. 
So if they, whenever they needed Oakwood Mall security, they would call them right on their phone, the store manager would, and they would be there. And that was Oakwood Mall security, basically. And the sad thing to say is, if I would have seen, um, if they would have had them, I would have seen them be in that time period that I worked there, or during a time period when they had their store closing sale in November, October of 2018. So, you know, they didn't have any security vests at the Eau Claire Sears, you know. Not all of them had that, so, um... Like I said, because otherwise, if they did, and I, I would have seen that, being that I had worked there. So, and that's proof that I had worked at Sears. Um, I got out of Sears just because I didn't want to deal with going through a store closing and become unemployed unknowingly to Sears while I was at Sears that was when I started my YouTube channel after watching Grimm's toy show channel the family vlog one I was three and um yeah so basically how I started the channel was I thought, since Grimm said you can film whatever you want and do whatever you want on your YouTube channel, you know. Um, so I, I started out just wanting to show people around the town of Chippewa and that. So I'm just walking around. Well, after I had done a, a vlog one time, Gosh, I, I went and filmed the closing Gander Mountain. And then all of a sudden, some of my subscribers at the time, I didn't have that many. I think only two or three. And it really picked up my subscriber count, I think, to six. And they were hinting it was all because of basically Gander Mountain closing video. So I started going to that because Grim said you got to cater to your subscribers. So I started sort of going to that direction. Um, yeah. So that's how my channel kind of went to that direction. Um... I'm basically I'm also an antique lover just so people know I love antiques you know um right now I'm trying to get into actually dealing and selling it buying and selling antiques but treating eBay as my antique booth but I'm selling also stuff I hand make like them snowmen on S day. So it it's not easy work. Um so um I'm also gonna be trying to sell a couple extra of my shop coal shopping baskets once again. Um it seems like they weren't selling but I believe eventually they would because there's a, someone out there where they weren't were in an area where there was no Shaco at all. And they've heard of Shaco through the internet, basically. And they're going to want that item that says Shaco right on it. It's like, um, you know, that's a weird thing to say is... Like, you can say someone from an area where there was no Eames and Hills... Um, they can find out through Wally's channel that there was a store called it. And then they go, hey, I really want something that has that store on it. We never had one, but I still want one. 
it's you, you know, and it gets people to get the light bulb over their head and saying they want it, you know. Just to preserve um a piece of history, you know. Um so Yeah, um, I don't really film that much. Like, today I think I did, like, three, four videos. So I can upload so many. Because, uh, yeah, actually there's some days where I don't film at all. And I just go click through my unlisted stuff and and turn them into public. Just because, um, that's a little easier for me. <laughs> um... Once garage sale season comes, I have a major uplog, <laughs> basically. I have a bunch of videos already loaded, but they'll be unlisted when the time comes. Um, even right now, we're waiting to see what store will be the next to say that they're closing here in Wisconsin. Um... I believe my scene Office Max ain't really that busy. TJ Max is also dead. JC Penny's is dead too. Um Pure One is dead. Um I think they said even Victoria's Secret is at risk of closing in Eau Claire. So and for my senior even Michaels and Joanne's are kind of dead too. I mean, they ain't really that busy. Best Buy ain't that busy either in Eau Claire. But, you never know. Only time will tell, you know. Um. So, bye bye everyone.